profitably and look at higher levels. Astra Microwave is the next one, uh, next company that we're going to sp uh, sp uh, talk to. The company signed a MOU with Premier Explosives for a strategic alliance to develop and sell multiple products jointly. Uh, and let's talk about this more with uh, Atim Kabra, Director of Business Development and Strategy at the company Astra Microwave. Mr. Kabra, good morning. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Prashant here. Could you tell us Hi, the scope Prashant, of good this? Morning. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, the scope of the MOU that you've signed, what products uh, uh, that, that you want to work on together, uh, what are the timelines here like, how much will you invest, and ultimately what's the addressable market here uh, that you're looking at? Sure. Let me tell you the philosophy behind this MOU. I think together is a very powerful concept which can give life to a vision of complete Indian-made and designed products, not only for India, but also for the world at a very, very competitive pricing. And I think we are fortunate that Mr. Chaudhary and Mr. Gupta at Premier Explosives share the vision which Astra Management has. And together we can create complete products using our respective expertise. Now, when I say this, I think it is fair to say that the government has given a significant impetus to the industry. And it is now up to us how we seize the movement and work together to create products which, uh, which are built on our respective niches and core areas of operation, uh, helped and put together by the various defense labs and the DPSU, who have all been a part of this uh, beautiful ecosystem which has been created. So that is the vision which has been guiding us uh, to put together this MOU. And it feeds into our uh, LEAP strategy, where lean and learn, and node which I call a network of defense uh, enterprises, which is uh, you know an informal network which we are trying to create, where people can come together and you know develop on their respective niches to create uh, this product line. So that has been the core philosophy. Um, you know, on the products which we are talking about, Astra is in the process of developing a few nice products which have huge applications, not only in the Indian market, but also global markets. And, you know, these products are very well complemented with warheads and uh, detonators and the propellants, which uh, Premier has expertise in. So that's how we are looking at it, you know. In terms of numbers, is this you know, yeah, yeah sorry. Um, Mr. Cabra, uh, is this a more enabling kind of a MOU which gives you the optionality to work or specifics, etc., are yet to be worked out? Specifics in terms of numbers are yet to be worked out. As you very rightly put, it's an enabling MOU. Uh, but we have a few products which are clearly identified on which there is a meeting of minds that we can put together our respective expertise in these products and create, uh, you know, a completely different paradigm uh, together. Uh, stay on, Mr. Kabra. That's uh, the listing of Sri Tirupati Balaji Agro. This is a company which is engaged in the business of manufacturing and selling large flexible, flexible bags, uh, industrial packaging products like woven sacks, woven fabric, narrow fabric tapes, etc. It's a positive opening. Uh, the you know Sri Tirupati Balaji's Tirupati first stick is with a gain of about 18 percent, 97 rupees versus the issue price of 83. It's a small company. They raised about 160 you know 70 crore rupees via the IPO. They will use part of the proceeds to repay their debt. 83 was the issue price. The stock is listed at 97 rupees. It had seen very strong subscription, close to about 124 uh, times. Um, so you know we were expecting a positive. A kind of a start and that has played out 17 and a half percent but mr cabra you said that uh, you have identified certain products right at least in the initial phase which you will develop yeah. as a part of the mou so can you tell us yeah. about those products um you know name them for these products what is the total addressable market how soon will you be able to come in you know come in the market and what's going to be the division of revenues in the investment okay uh I'll give you the broad categories if that's okay with you, right? Okay, we are talking about missiles, right? So as you know, multiple uh, players in the defense industry have entered into the missile space, right? Okay, so if if you have the propellants, if you have the defense electronics, and if you have the control systems and the exterior shell. 
to deliver uh, the entire package, you're talking of uh, uh, missiles. So now they are complete and, and rockets, for example, are the low end version where we can actually add in homing systems, RF systems, and guidance systems to make sure that they reach the intended target. And uh, you know, you've seen the efficacy of these rockets, which have been established in the ongoing wars in uh, Israel, uh, especially, and as well as uh, you know, in the Ukraine and Russian war. Uh, we are talking of uh, protection systems where we will actually we can you know we can check with the we can check with the radars and identify incoming objects and take countermeasures where which can be provided by premier explosives right so together you know it is is actually a limit, we are limited by our imagination in terms of how important these protection systems have become in this new era of electronic warfare so these are few areas you know and you you know we are in in the space business astra is, has a sizable order book in space business, we can create space great products. Uh, Premier has a presence in the space business where they make uh, rocket propellants, right? So together, again, that's an, another area uh, where uh, revenue can be generated. But uh, to your point, it's nothing immediate in terms of revenue impact. Our guidance is, are the, our guidance is there for the year. But if I have to put in place uh, sizable business blocks, which will deliver significantly higher business in the forthcoming years. I think these are steps which are necessary and in the right direction. So you maintain your FI25 revenue guidance of 1,000 to 1,100 crore rupees? Would you Absolutely. like to narrow it? Will you end at the upper end, lower end? Because in percentage terms, it's a very wide range of, I think, 11 to 22 percent. We hope to be in the upper end, <laughs> towards the upper end. <laughs> yeah, we, I, I, I think uh, 1050 uh, plus should be should be the target. You know, yeah, uh, should be. Easy. All right. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Mr. Cabra. Good morning. This is Nigel on Hi. this side. You know, it's always good interacting with you, Mr. Cabra. I was just looking at the shareholding pattern of Premier Explosives, and uh, there's a Mr. Atim Cabra who holds stake out there. Is it you? <laughs> That's me. That's so it's you. It's a very and, uh, deep, deep relationship. Uh, as an equity holder, which I've had with them, when I've been holding it for more than a decade and a half, program, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, so look, uh, yeah. there's a comfort level, and I've seen Premier grow grow into a very, very significant uh, strategic company, and so therefore, uh, you know, uh, making the call and putting it all together was relatively right. so, easy. But it's not really restricted to. Uh, I just want to add, it's not restricted to. Premier alone. We are in conversations with multiple people, and actually on your show also, people yeah. like uh, you know, I am progressive leaders like Mr. Munjal of Paris, etc. You know, have already come in and have spoken about uh, you know uh, the need to grow uh, through uh, moves into different areas. Mm. No, the reason I ask you is because you know that's a very important role that you have as well because you're heading Astra and now you know there is a bit of a collaboration with Prima Explosives and since you've been a holder for close to a decade as you just told us, you understand the company well. So do you think there are further business opportunities for both these two companies going ahead? Could you all stitch a deal between the two or something on those lines? No, no I don't think anything. You know, if you're referring to a merger or acquisition kind of a thing, I don't think. Anything like that is on the cards. Okay. We are completely separate businesses, uh, but our strengths are complementary. And I have friends across the industry, various founders, right? And I think, uh, to the credit of the industry, I think everybody is sharing this vision of uh, node network of defense enterprises coming together to create uh, newer products. It's just a step okay. man, which I've taken. Uh, yeah. j just wanted to clarify. So you're heading Astra, but you're an investor in uh, Premier Explosives, right? I am a director at Astra. I am a director yeah. at Astra, significant equity holder in Astra, small equity in Premier, yes, so I've known the management. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I appreciate, appreciate you, Mr. Cabra, joining in, and congratulations uh, you know, on this uh, recent uh, deal opportunity. So wishing you all the best, and we look forward to chatting up with you, maybe post you declared your quarter two uh, numbers as well. Well, time to get...